all right hey guys uh redesigned tour nine hole here again that we're going to play and here you can see a strong headwind uh, i'm a little worried about this with the redesign um, i easily barreled it through the second fairway last time i'm assuming i won't be able to do that this time but i'm also not sure as to where um, i'll wind up on this new setup on the average case you can see the fairway seems to be lowered a little bit that second fairway might not be quite as hard to get up that hill into that second fairway now um, it's definitely redesigned all the holes are now retouched so you need to see some kind of modification on all the holes now and uh, it appears to me that uh, I'm probably going to just go more of a full top spin try to bounce it off the uh, the rough in between and just top spin it up into the fairway so you're going to want to use everything that you can to just kind of model that approach get it up here as far as you can um, I'm assuming we're going to need to do some kind of bounce shot off the, the third fairway uh, and hop it over very similarly to how we used to but the physics of how going about doing that might be a little bit different because it seems definitely you know the the surface between the desert sand to the rough by the green has definitely been altered so the way that it definitely rolls through there now you can roll through the sand um, you, the old way if you even touched the bunker by one centimeter it was bunker it would just fried egg top of the sand now you can actually spin through it so knowing that fact uh, is kind of changing the way that it plays a little bit and let's just see how this looks what I used to do is maybe two top spin here we're gonna do eh, maybe two and a half in this case we're gonna do this with some curl as well so in terms of ring play we're going to go pretty spot up and you can see i'm staying about four rings from the edge here just giving myself a little bit of a safety net notice that i am moving to a lower surface so i'm going to cheat it in just a tiny and we're only going to use maybe about half hook just to kind of see the way that this responds and there it looks like it's shooting towards the hole that's just about the right amount of curl just needed just a tad more top spin to get to the hole but you can see that I don't need to max try to max my curl um, same with my ring play you know you don't need to get right up aggressive on that edge you can do a little bit of a safety um, I was about four rings over keep in mind that when I drop to a lower surface there into that sand that it's going to kind of change my trajectory a little bit and that's why you saw me maybe go you know seven and a half rings as opposed to you know just to make sure um, that it doesn't change my ball flight too much, that it changes my landing zone um, too much. But uh, all things considered, you know, that was a relatively good approach. Uh, if my um, opponent does not back out here, I'm, I'm fully intending to miss this putt, if at all possible. i got to avoid this guy backing out on me, so... <clears throat> <clears throat> Hopefully he's still here. Looks like he might not be. <sighs> nope, there he is. So we are going to get to the shootout. Hopefully we can get one of the Oasis holes and I can split this video up into a second part. If so, um, otherwise I'm just going to continuation this video. Um, no need to separate it for stuff that you guys have already seen and nothing that has changed from Tour 9. You can use a lot of the stuff that I've already done. Um, and here you can see uh, we got the Milano hole here. Um, the approach that I usually use here is the rough bump shot. So we are going to, uh, I think I used to use maybe four and a half my top spin on my back spin. I'm going to come off of that, maybe just make it four and a quarter here. Um, maybe make that my land zone. 
In terms of my ring play, you know, I definitely go one per ring. So I'm going to go at least six rings here. There's six and a half ish. Did catch perfect ball, so let's see how this runs out. Looks pretty good overall. It looks like just went a little bit too much. Now when I pull up and had had kind of a headwind there, that's why you might have saw me do just a tiny bit of extra. Is because of the fact that uh, you know, anytime that you're pulling more into max, especially you know, an extra seven rings than you usually play um, on this hole, you know, it, it it makes me go just kind of a little bit of an over adjustment because it's going to be in the air for longer. So you'll see usually that the wind affects it just a tiny bit more. And for some reason, it didn't seem to quite do that there because that slight overplay that I did, you know, six and a half, six, six and maybe two thirds rings was actually, you know, too much, which was not really quite what I was expecting there. <clears throat> so, um, you know, just take that, uh, take that shot in. Hopefully you guys can pull off something similar there. That's my preferred method to go. I do that in ver uh, a lot of the wins. The only one I try to avoid is the tailwind case where you, you know, I probably still would have did it there if my opponent was in there super tight because it's the only way that I'm also going to consistently get in there real, real close. So um, it's a very consistent approach. It usually gets you within a yard every time. And, uh, you know, it's very one-to-one -one with the way that you play the wind. So... Um, you just need to tweak your backspin and topspin depending on, uh, you know, headwind, tailwind, whatever, sidewind. So, you know, just keep that in mind. But uh, good luck there and catch you guys on the next one.